All right, so today I'm gonna to take you all on a bit of a job that I'm doing. I have 16 vacant properties that need to be photographed and then I have to bring them all back here to go ahead and add the uh, GIS, uh, the markings to separate the property lines. So it's gonna be a pretty busy day. It's probably gonna take about four to five hours to do this. And I have to do this really carefully because all this vacant land is all in one sort of centralized subdivision that's not yet been developed. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult. I've already did some pre-planning prep work, but should make for uh, an interesting vlog. Let's get started. I gotta tell you, this place is out there. Wow, it's out here. So uh, I've got a little bit of a, a setup to do here. I've got the laptop, the drone. Um, I've got, I went ahead and basically screenshot all the data, all like all the GIS locations that I need it. Um, this one should be pretty simple. This is two properties. So some of these properties are in clusters, but I'm still going to have to charge them as separate because I still have to do legwork back at the studio. So. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything fired up, set up. I've got an SD card in here, and every time I land, I'm basically going to offload that data. That should make the organization process a lot easier. Woo, now the first, the most fun is waiting on the GPS. Got six satellites. Cold boots usually take about five, six minutes or so. Hopefully it locks the home point quickly. I don't want to wait very long. Uh, it's the most annoying thing about this is just sitting here waiting. So still sitting at six satellites. And a lot of people say, well, you should move it away from the metal objects. I could do that. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. It's never made a difference. Let's see, did that change anything? No, I have less satellites now. Fucking A. All right, so that's technically two properties done because this was a cluster of two, so. All right, only 14 more to go. So I guess for the sake of doing all this, I probably just could leave the Mavic on like at all times. But the problem is it's gonna keep, it's not gonna update the home point. I would have to manually update the home point. But uh, it did lock satellites faster that time. I just booted it up and I have 17 satellites. So between hot boots or between boots that are hot, I think it's okay. So if it keeps doing that, I'll be really happy. So now same thing I did before on the last one, I'm gonna take all the data off, put it in the correct folder. So that makes it a lot easier to go ahead and do the edits. So I think the hardest part of all this is actually gonna be going back and making sure the lines are somewhat accurate. It's also important to remember is that we're not surveyors, so we can't certify these lines. Um, some states, some counties have a problem with this, but at this point, I'm gonna put the onus back on the agent um, and make sure that they put, you know, this is only a guesstimation. I was just thinking about way out here. There's like literally no houses really. There's like far and few between on the houses, but this would be this would be one of the okay places like if you wanted to do some sort of tracking with the Skydio. I think that this could be one of those spots because like there's a house here, but for the vast majority of these roads, there's no houses. This this community isn't really developed yet. I don't know. Just thought it was pretty interesting. All right. 13 more to go. Alrighty, so this one's a little bit more difficult. So we have this crossroad here, and I believe the property is somewhere on here. We don't really have any sort of, um, I guess, beacons or any sort of landmarks to really go off of, um, trying to determine where it's at. Uh, but there's this crossroad back here on this other property line, but I don't know if we're gonna get up high enough to actually see that. So I'm gonna get it in the air and see if I can't sort of emulate what I'm seeing here. 
I should have paid a little more attention to the road I came in on. So some of the maps aren't right. And, uh, hmm. Damn it. So now we gotta go all the way back around to try to get around this thing. Son of a bitch. Alrighty. All right, so this looks right. At least according to, to the map that the agent gave me, this looks right. So we get this one done. This is gonna be a cluster of two. So we got two for one out of this one, which is a good thing. Whew, all right. It's another two down and I uh, feel pretty good. I feel relieved, mostly because I peed right here. It's one nice thing about working way out in the middle of BFE. There is uh, bathrooms abundant. All right, let's uh, pack up all the gear. Got all the data converted over. <sighs> 10 more to go. Alrighty, I'm pretty sure that this is property number eight. So we're halfway through. And the last couple of ones are gonna go super easy because it's four properties all right next to each other, which is gonna make life really easy. Um, for, for all of these, I'm still gonna bill them as individual properties. And then basically all I'm gonna do is take them back uh, to Lightroom, do some minor adjustments, and then take them into Photoshop and just replace the skies, um, which will make my life really easy. Cause then, like I said, single exposure shots, one exposure for all these, and it'll be perfect. Then I just gotta add lines. So, so far the Mavic 3 is performing really well. Um, now I had to drive about five miles, so we'll see if, We'll see if the drive between the last shoot and this shoot affects uh, the overall performance on GPS. I don't think it will. I mean, it's been locking pretty quickly since the first boot, which is awesome, um, making my life really easy. I did burn through one entire battery. So we're on our second battery. I have six batteries with me. I think that this one should be able to take me all the way to the end. I don't know if that last battery was fully charged. So we'll see how quick this boots up, see how many satellites I get. Uh, I'm just waiting for it to connect and uh, yeah, so 19 satellites actually. So wow, we're basically ready to take off has been updated. Please check it on the map. Cool. So I mean after that first initial boot. Yeah, we're 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 locking pretty quickly So that's a cool thing to see All right, so something a little bit unexpected happening on this shoot for this piece of land is the fact that we've got some red tail hawks that are basically chasing the drone every single time I get up in the air and they're like dive bombing at it. I'm really not trying to lose a drone in this location, but see if you can see them. It's every time I get elevated. So I'm having to take some really funky angles of this place because there's no other option. And um, damn it, this sort of sucks. Holy shit, that was nuts. They were like barrel rolling at the drone. That's the wildest thing I've ever seen. Like anytime I'm seeing any sort of birds of prey as of late, I don't even tempt fate with it. I'll just usually keep it low, keep it in sport mode to give myself the best chance of escaping a situation like that. Because honestly, they probably would have took it out if I didn't come down and go back the other way. I went all the way over far back um, away from them. Or they must have a nest or something maybe, I don't know. Um, and maybe I could be wrong. Maybe it's not a red tail hawk. Whatever it is, it has like a V-shaped tail and they were like barrel rolling at the drone. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. But we got the shots luckily, so hopefully that is enough for this spot. Alrighty, technically this is the almost the last one. We have two more, but they're right next to each other. So I'll say it's just one more real property to do one more time of flying the Mavic and we're done so far it's performed really well after like I said after that first boot we've been good um, had a little bit of a panic attack on the previous location because of the Hawks or whatever they were just literally barrel rolling my drone and you know unfortunately I don't see anything flying but you just never know what's going to come out at you until you take off so hopefully we can just make it through the rest of these shoots with no incidents all right, so quick lunch and then back to the studio to do the edits on these files. I have to get all 16 of these properties done tonight because Monday I have five shoots plus a video to do for a client tomorrow night and trying to edit this vlog together. 
really not not sure how I'm going to do it all, but I, I'm trying to get everything done because the weekend I'm going away with the family and I have zero intentions on doing any work related crap. Ooh. I think it's pretty much there we go. Some reason I have that negative one. All right, back at the studio. And now the hard work begins, which is starting to edit all of these files, which hopefully it goes really quickly so we're not here all night. So it's 4.50, almost 5 o'clock. And uh, as you can see, I've been working through these edits uh, quite swiftly. I've got eight properties completely done, eight more to go. I think I'm gonna take a breather because as of right now, my eyes like can't even focus. 10.14 p.m. Um, I know I look different, right? I actually, I went home, I ate some dinner and I shaved because the beard was really bothering me in the field. Uh, I was like home for maybe two hours, spent some time with the family and I'm right back here. Um, Mm, finished all 16 properties are completely done got some feedback on this property that I'm working on so this thing this was a property I shot Friday it was 5600 square feet and uh, the agent finally told me what they liked they didn't like about it I waited 48 hours to hear back from them so got those revisions in place so now we're ready for tomorrow which is Monday and um, we have five shoots. But as of right now, I am uh, running printers and trying to handle Etsy shipping. Um, so I'll probably be here until about 12.31 in the morning. We'll go home, get some shut eye, and uh, right back to it in the morning. All right, that's going to do it. hope you guys enjoyed tagging along with me for the day. Long ass day. Sorry if it was really boring, but uh, I'm not sure when I'll get this uh, vlog edited. Today is... 410 so and this is like an everyday thing like literally what you saw today is like happens every single day all right hope you guys enjoy stay original see you next time uh, i heard they checking for me no one checking on me so i had to go run up a check i got the message on me you know flexing on me my attorney gonna call and collect blessings on blessings for me my success has only made them envious they got upset i had to put all their egos in check i went to